Hello everyone, how is it going? My name is Max, I am a freelance musician and composer based in Liverpool in the UK. I want to talk to you today about the AE Modular System by Tangible Waves and the fantastic Algodrome Module. This thing is made by Robert Langer for Tangible Waves in Murnau in Germany, I think that's how you pronounce it, I might be butchering that. Guys, I cannot tell you how cool this thing is. This is the module that most people will sort of say sold them on the system, I'd say. Um, it's the most different module, really, that's really different to what you're going to find in Eurorack. It's different to what you're going to find in other synths. And it's brilliant. It's so cool. Uh, right, let's dive in to a bit of a patch and see what we can do with it. So this is the Algodrone module for the AE Modular System by Tangible Waves. If you're watching this video, quite frankly, I assume you know what the AE Modular is, at least to a point. So I'm not gonna go into great detail about the system. Basically, it's an affordable modular synthesizer system, and it's fantastic. It's such a good system. So this is the Algodrone. What this is, is a little module that has byte beat algorithms on it, as you can see on the screen here. As we scroll through these, these make different sounds that are all essentially uh, randomized to a point by a computer. We've got control over the different factors, but first off, let's hear how it sounds. So straight away, we've got a really kind of interesting, big sound out of that. There's a lot of movement in this module. It's really good to layer up in the different patches that you might do. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna turn the course frequency to the pitch of the module. I mean, that's great. That's fantastic. You could do so much with that on a delay. So there's also a fine frequency control at the bottom there. That allows us to change the fine pitch of the module, of course. Generally speaking, I don't like to tune it as an oscillator, really. This is more something that sits underneath my patches. So I use it more for a little bit of textural noise beneath things. So we've then got parameters one, two, and three here, okay? So these are really nicely named, they're ominous, they don't say what it does. It's not cut off, it's not speed or anything like that, or resonance, you know. <laughs> Sorry, that patch is really interesting. Um, so, <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna tweak the three parameters and let's see what happens. So parameter one. That's kind of, uh, slicing it up a bit, isn't it? Okay, cool, I like that. Parameter 2, let's see. That's almost increasing the speed of the slices in a way. I like that. And parameter 3. See, we've all completely changed the sound of the module by just turning those three potentiometers. You see, you could get a really good kind of backing for a techno track with that. We're gonna make some sounds with it and we're gonna see what happens. So let's try and put it into a little patch like this. So we can hear the pitch steadily rising of this sequence. Let's try and put an LFO into parameter two, let's see. So when we connect that LFO to parameter 2, it adds a little bit of just randomness and variation to it, you see. So we've already got the pitch going up and down. Let's try and add another LFO into... Let's try and change the pitch. <laughs> see, it's fantastic the amount of sounds it can produce in such a tiny little box. So I think an important thing to know is what you're going to use the Algodrome for. This is not a nice sounding module, meaning you're not going to get pretty chord tones out of it. This is gritty drone textures that have a lot of movement, but also have a lot of depth and a lot of kind of really interesting features essentially. So I don't really know, I don't quite know what you could do with this off the top of my head. 
let's have a little play and let's see what we can come up with. So I'm gonna try and put it into a patch and let's see how we do. So what I've done is I've just patched the Alga drone into the reverb that's just outside the frame here. So I'm gonna fade in the wet signal of the reverb. It's really noisy, I like it. And let's turn it off, let's add the dry. And let's just add the wet to that. Turn the dry down. You've almost kind of got like a tropical birds kind of sound there. <laughs> it just does so much straight away. There's so much movement going on. And what I'm going to try and do very quickly is I'm going to add between the two chains there, I'm going to add a delay. So we can just hear that delay so we can hear it. We'll change the delay time. So I really love with the delay module to be able to change that delay time. I think that gets some great sounds coming out of it, you see. So what we're going to do is we're going to fade the reverb back in. And we're going to put a CV signal from an LFO into that delay. Now I'm using the same LFO that I'm controlling uh, parameter 2 with. The reason I like to do that is I like to keep an element of kind of consistency there. So let's see how this sounds. It's this really rich kind of big signal. Let's turn the wet all the way to wet. So there's no dry signal from the delay. It's only the delayed signal now. Let's turn the reverb down. And fade it in again. I like that. Now you see, I should mention the camera angle that I've chosen here. What I wanted to do was, I wanted to give you a good view of where my hands are on the Alga drone so you can see what parameters I'm tweaking and when. So let's try and just gently change the parameters and see what we kind of come up with. Let's turn the dry signal. So we've kind of got a bit more of a jumpy sort of feel there, I'd say. Let's try and shift parameter to one. It sounds like something's broken. Okay, let's turn the reverb down. So what I'll try and do, let's have a little look at how it sounds like in grain mode. So the grains, essentially, is able to take little tiny slices of the signal and essentially oscillate it into a new waveform, which is really strange to describe, but that's the best sort of way to say. So let's move the position. I like that a lot. And let's try and put a random signal into the position. So what I've done here is I've created a sample and hold signal with some white noise that's giving us a random voltage. That's then being fed into the position of the signal. Which is kind of just moving it around a bit. Let's try and up the grain size. And let's add a bit of motion with the inbuilt LFO. Let's just turn the delay off to hear what it sounds like without that. So the delay does kind of slightly filter the character of it. So yeah, that's like that's like a Game Boy that you've you've sat on in your back pocket. <laughs> okay, so let's have a little look at what else we can do with this basically. Let's try and use the Alga drone to control the CV of itself into maybe the size. You can definitely hear a kind of FM sound there, definitely. 
So you see, it's really easy to just change the sound completely with just a few turns of the different potentiometers. Let's change the parameters again and let's see what we can do with this. It's like a dial-up modem, isn't it? A little bit that. Then I think one of the most interesting features there is on this module is this little button up here. This button is the, I call it the nuclear launch button, essentially. When you press this, you don't know what's going to happen. It randomizes the current algorithm and does something completely different. And you know what? It's time to push it. So what we're going to try and do now is let's just change the speed of these LFOs at the bottom, which you can't see, they're off the camera. So let's have a look and try and do that. Again, it's one of those modules that people kind of expect it sometimes to play nice sounds. And that is just, <laughs> that's not what it's for. That is most definitely not a good use of this module. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to mutate this current drone. There we go. So we've gotten a kind of gritty sound here. I do like that sound, that's nice. I think the Alga drone's a really fantastic module. I think the issue is with it, I think people maybe often misunderstand it a bit. I know when I first got it, I was very excited to get my hands on it, of course but it's a little bit different to what I was expecting. I think it's not one to use and expect nice consonant tones out of. You're getting a lot of dissonance, you're getting a lot of strange, gritty textures. But if that's the sort of thing you like working with, it's fantastic. I cannot fault it at all. I think it's a really, really good module for what it does for offering these kind of dark textures. And it definitely adds a lot to a patch. If you look at a lot of my previous tracks, I've used the Alga Drone if you listen in the background. So I hope you've enjoyed this little journey into the wonderful mayhem that is the Alga Drone by Tangible Waves. If there's any other modules you'd like to see instructional videos on or like patch videos, please feel free to let me know in the comments section below. Uh, there's a link to my music in the bio down below which you can have a listen to if you're interested. Thank you so much for tuning in. Massively appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.